Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome back if you're returning. Today's video is going to be a farming guide for Harvestella. Uh, mechanically, farming in Harvestella is very simple. This guide is going to be more for min-maxing the experience. Like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. It's free. And without any further ado, let's get into the video. Just as a short disclaimer, I will be avoiding any story spoilers. However, the background footage may show some mechanics some party members and such, maybe some locations that you're not at yet. It should be completely free of story spoilers and should not hinder your experience with the game. Without spoilers, this farming tip is for the beginning, middle, and late game, and I will be avoid discussing post-game. So this guide will be for as you're experiencing the main game, though a lot of it can be pulled into post-game as well. As a general overview for farming, the process is you hoe, you plant, and you water each day. Nothing crazy. As you advance the story, you will unlock abilities to make farming faster. This will increase your speed of hoeing, watering, planting, and harvesting. Once unlocked, build the sprinkler to automatically water your crops in a set radius. Sprinkler level 2 is best, but I do not suggest farming for large water crystals without mining knowledge 1. It is near impossible without a ton of saving and reloading or dumb luck without Mining Knowledge 1. Mining Knowledge 2 is simply a quality of life increase, giving you more items per harvest, but not as necessary as Mining Knowledge 1. Mining Knowledge 1 is received by making 5 different meals for the NPC in the Shatola Bar. Do not miss this! Prioritize the crops needed to make each meal within your first year of the game. That way you can get Mining Knowledge Level 1 as quickly as possible to make your farming even easier. Mining Knowledge 2 is received by making 5 different meals in the 5th city that you visit. The best place to get these large water crystals effectively once you have Mining Knowledge 1 is the Coral Shrine on the 5th floor, Echo of the Bulla. The process for getting these crystals is pretty simple. You'll just want to save. Go to every mining point, and then reset if you do not get the desired result. I would say aim for at least one per day. Don't need to min-max too much other than that. You will get more space when you expand your farm. However, hold off expanding until you notice you are consistently filling up the space you do have. This will free up your money for other items in game, for more crops, and for other necessities you may need as you're playing the game. No point in having a large farm if you don't have the money to buy the crops to fill it. You will eventually be able to craft machines to produce livestock feed, make juice, and even charge batteries. Account for this when deciding to expand your farm. Each season in the game, summer, spring, fall, and winter, lasts 30 days, followed by one day of quietus, which clears all crops in your farm. Again, all crops will die in between the switching of the season, so do plan accordingly. Be sure to time your crop's harvesting time to line up before Quietus. For instance, do not plant something that takes 7 days to harvest when Quietus is only 4 days away. Any crops that are still there during Quietus will wither, but they can be sold for a little money, so do be sure to sell those. As you advance the story, you will unlock a cave and a waterside biome to plant different crops, so be sure to utilize those as well. Do keep in mind the waterside and cave crops will wither after Quietus as well. You will also not have access to the waterside or the cave crops during winter, so please plan accordingly. Here is a graphic that I found on Reddit. I will go ahead and link the post in the description. And this shows the last day to plant each crop to get the max harvest before Quietus. Trees do not die during Quietus. However, trees will not bear fruit if out of season. For instance, if it's winter and your winter tree is growing fruit and then the season changes, the tree will stand there but will bear no fruit. So you might as well clear it out. Be sure to clear all out of season trees from your farm with the hammer to free up space for additional crops. You can also time trees to be ready for harvest by the next season if you have space on your farm. For instance, you can plant the summer trees um, right before summer is about to happen. That way as soon as summer comes, the trees will start bearing fruit. As soon as you have access to the water biome, plant loconut trees immediately. These trees are great for an entire three months and can be harvested for every month except winter. The loconuts can be sold or you can turn them into juice for some cheap healing. Some crops will be marked as reharvestable. 
be sure to plant these at the beginning of the month to get the most bang for your buck. Typically, crops that take longer to grow will sell for more money. Lantern pumpkin and islet watermelon are great for profit. Moro corn and chili plant are other great choices as well. Do remember that you must spend to earn, so be sure to maximize by buying as many seeds as possible. There are no seeds in the game that will cost more to buy than it will to sell. So every seed you plant is earning you a profit. Some are just better than others. When your funds are in a good spot and you have some extra income, do keep in mind you can buy seeds for the upcoming season. And that way when quietness happens, the stock in the shop will reset and you can now have access to another set of that seed. Always strive to have crops growing if you want to maximize profits. That means plant and water seeds every single day, sell and replace to get maximum money. Just a reminder from my previous video, but seed prices do vary by town. For any seed that's sold in multiple towns, do be sure to check both before purchasing if you're going to purchase in bulk. That way you can maximize your profits even further. And an additional reminder, food does not sell any more than the ingredients used to make them. Do not cook just to sell. Again, there is no profit for food compared to the ingredients used to make them. Each town sells seeds for their corresponding season besides the starting town, which will sell seeds of the current season that you're in. That will be Nemea Town for spring, Chatola for summer, and the holy capital Argen for the winter. Again, Leth Village does sell autumn crops all year round, but also the current season you're in will also be sold there as well. Some of the seeds can be planted in multiple seasons, so do feel free to stock up on those. That way you can have them between each season. Again, they will be cleared out between quietus, but can be replanted again the following season. Though it may not be obvious to people that are new to the genre or new to the game, but farming has no impact on completing this game. Just could be fun and gets you money and materials for your journey. Feel free to invest as little or as much as you enjoy doing. I hope this guide was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions on the guide or the game below. I do my best to read each comment and reply. Again, a like, comment, or subscribe are free ways to help support me. Would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Looking to continue to build my community. I'm always grateful. I will be producing more Harvestella content, so stay tuned. I believe my next video should be a guide on the combat in the game. So if that's something you're interested in, of course, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell. I am very passionate about building a community built around gaming and memes. All the links to the socials are below. I do stream most nights on Twitch, so feel free to check it out. I'm working on streaming every single day, so if you'd like to come by and say hi, would love to see you there. Thank you again so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!